Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medicos Hub. In this video on renal system, under the topic ultrafiltration, I am going to discuss about the concept of renal clearance. Renal clearance of a substance is defined as the volume of plasma from which the particular substance is completely removed or cleared per unit time. Say if we consider this is the afferent arterial, this is all the glomerulus, this is the efferent arterial and this one is the Bowman's capsule. Then this is the plasma concentration of a particular substance in arterioles. This one is the filtrate. Finally, this will be the concentration of substance in urine. And if we calculate the clearance of that particular substance, it will be equal to the concentration of substance in urine into flow of urine per unit time upon concentration of that substance in plasma. So this one is renal clearance of that substance. This is concentration of substance in urine. This is urine flow per unit time. And this one is the plasma concentration of substance so this is the plasma concentration of substance so concentration of substance in urine is in milligram per ml while this one is ml per minute again this will be in milligram per ml so finally the renal clearance will be having the units ml per minute. Now what is the use? Use is this, the calculation of GFR and renal blood flow is based upon the concept of renal clearance. Then which substance should be taken for renal clearance? What are the characteristics of substance taken for renal clearance? First is that such substance should be freely filtered. Now what do you mean by freely filtered? That if afferent arteriole is having the concentration of that particular substance 5 milligram percent, then the efferent arteriole should be having 0% that is 0 concentration that is all of the substances entering the glomerulus should enter the Bowman's capsule and should not go into the efferent arteriole that is meant by freely filtered. So the substances which are taken are inulin. Inulin is exogenous and it is more accurate 
while we can also take creatinine and creatinine is endogenous next property or characteristic is such substance should not it should neither be reabsorbed nor secreted in tubular fluid then it should be non toxic it should not be metabolized in any way it should not be stored synthesized or altered in kidneys and it should be easily measurable in urine and plasma so these are the important characteristics of the substance which is taken for renal clearance now what may be the results results may be of three types that is renal clearance may be more than the actual gfr if renal clearance is more than gfr it means that there is net secretion of substance in the tubules that's why more is excreted than filtered and examples of such substances are para amino hyperic acid and creatinine if renal clearance is exactly equal to gfr it means that no net tubular secretion or reabsorption so whatever is filtered is excreted that's why the rc renal clearance is equivalent to gfr and this comes in case of inulin that's why it is considered to be more accurate for calculation of gfr and if the renal clearance is less than gfr it means that whatever is filtered is also reabsorbed that's why excretion is less than the filtered value so there is net reabsorption of that substance an example of such substance is glucose so that is all about the concept of renal clearance hit the like button share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications